Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's your boy, Pickle Rick. Here to show you a tutorial on how to dual stream OBS. Uh, first thing you want to do is you'll want to download and install OBS. Uh, once you get done installing it, <coughs> it should put an icon on your desktop like so. If it doesn't, uh, usually you can just go to your you know, start programs, drag it onto your desktop. Once you have the icon of OBS Studio on your desktop, you'll just right click it and go to properties. You will see uh, this path here for your OBS. It'll usually say program files x86 OBS Studio. What you'll then want to do is go back to your download installer, open it up. Yes, we already know there's a, a version running. Well, give me one second here. Close it out because it doesn't like that. Open it back up again. <coughs> Go to next. I agree. Once you get to this point here, the original one was just OBS-Studio. So what you do is you'll just add a 2 after Studio. And what that will do is then create two different installs for it. Uh, once you go through, you'll then have a another icon that pops up. You'll then just drag it. So then you'll have your original, and then you have your new one. Uh, what you need to do then is right-click your original one, go to Properties, and that will bring up this again. You'll then go to the very end, and we'll do it just like it's fresh. This is how it would be. You just type in space dash multi m u l t i hit OK. You'll then go to your second one, right click it, go to properties, and you want to add in space dash multi space dash portable and then hit OK on it. And then once you open up your first one. You can then place it wherever you would like. You then go to your second one. Yes, I want to launch it anyways. And then at that point, you should have two, uh, <coughs> two different OBSs running at the same time. Now, whenever they're both running at the same time, one of the downfalls is going to be uh, the only way to get a webcam working is if you, say, have it running. If you want webcam, uh, if you would have to open maybe the software for your uh, webcam and then you would go to it desktop capture it place it in there because once the if you add in just the webcam on the one it will not display on the other so that's definitely one thing to keep in mind if you're just looking to just stream the game then just roll with how it is right out of the box don't worry about putting putting that on it now your your layouts you can still do it'll mirror them it just will not mirror um, a webcam. Uh, once you have both of them done, the next step would be to get your uh, your keys for what you're wanting to stream to. So what we'll do first is we'll go to the very first one. We'll come down here, go to settings, go to stream, and I've already set this one up. Uh, this one here is ah. Uh, Whatever. We'll do it from the beginning. We'll hold hands and get through this together. We'll go into maybe where we can see it. We'll open up our WG cast amp. We'll then click key. Take our RTMP address. We will then paste it. Come back, grab our key. Paste it. Hit OK. We'll then go to our other instance of <coughs> OBS. We'll then grab our Streamcraft information. Grab that key. Go back into settings. Stream. We'll then paste that. And then grab your key for Streamcraft. And apply that. 
And now at this point, with the key in both of them, you can then set your streams up however you would like. Um, one thing to know, the master, basically the one that isn't is that it has nothing. The very first, the the first one that you've installed is basically your master. So what happens is any of your settings that you set up in here, whenever you open the other one, they automatically pop up in the other one. So it, it mirrors it perfectly, which is kind of a plus. Um, once you get your layout done how you want on both of them, you can set them up however you'd like. Uh, at that point, you are pretty much good to go. One recommendation that I would have uh, on it would be in your uh, output. One thing to keep in mind on your bit rate that you're going to be streaming. Uh, with two streams going at the same time, for instance, this is 1500 uh, bit rate. With two of them, you're looking at 3000. So the one thing is to make sure that you, is that you have the internet capability to stream uh, that high of a bit rate. Um, I mean, anything like a, a 10 meg internet connection, you should be fine. Um, so depending on where your internet is is going to depend on if you can do it or not but hey you can at least try it once you uh, set your video bit rate to I would say anywhere between 800 to 1500 uh, on it depending on what you're streaming I mean, if, if you're streaming you know a mobile game it doesn't have to be really high bit rate but if you're wanting something with really good graphics that you want to show off the higher the bit rate obviously the better the stream is going to look uh, once you adjust your bit rate to what you want, you design your layout to how you want, you then at that point, bring my thing back up so I can see, uh, at that point, you will then just do start streaming on the one, and of course my key doesn't work anymore. I'll fix that real quick. Get a new key from them. This is my Streamcraft key. Once you get your working key in, uh, one thing to keep in mind as well too with Streamcraft, um, it's done this to me a couple of times. <clears throat> Once you stream and you end it, whenever you, if you would try to re-hit it again, it kills that old key and you have to grab a new key. Uh, so once you get your working key, you'll then just hit start streaming, start streaming on both of them. So then at this point, both streams, I've got one going to Wii Gamers, one going to uh, StreamCraft. Uh, perfectly mirrored, both of them. So both viewers of both streams are going to get the exact same audio. They're going to get the exact same video. Um so that's definitely one thing to keep in mind because if you uh, if you want to keep the same stream make sure that they're exactly set up the exact same don't have one with a different layout from a different one because uh, then it can just get really confusing uh, but outside of that if you have any other questions on it at all feel free to hit me up it's your boy Pickle Rick signing off deuces